What's good, y'all? Words here. Today's soap review features Declaration Grooming Snee Motto. Declaration Grooming is uh, one of the most popular artisans in the uh, wet shaving space. Based in Morency, Michigan, this one man show, Scott Stewart, specializes in uh, soap aftershave and uh, the vaunted Declaration Grooming brushes, which are US made hand tied knots. Uh, beautiful work. This one is a collaboration between Declaration Grooming and Chatelian Lux and was released for Valentine's Day 2019. Declaration Grooming can be purchased direct on their website at maggardrazors.com, westcoastshaving.com, top of the chain for our friends in Canada, and the stray whisker for our friends in Australia. So, Snee Motto is a uh, blend of dark chocolate, lily, daffodil, damp earth, cocoa, and ambergris. Um, to my nose, for whatever reason, I smell a decadent dark chocolate and a raspberry tart or something like that. Um, I know there's no berry note in here, but the dark chocolate is quite present and uh, my nose is telling me that that's what I'm smelling. So anyhow, I'm not alone in that uh, description. I've heard that from others as well, even though it's not listed that way. Uh, but it's quite a very, it's definitely a Valentine's type scent if you uh, interpret it the way I am. Unfortunately for me, Mrs. Rudds does not approve of this one because for her interpretation, she's getting more of the uh, damp earth come through for her. Scent strength on this is mid, both off of the uh, tub and it remains mid once lathered. And I'll be quite honest with you, there's nothing really like this uh, scent that I've smelt in wet shaving. All right, so uh, you'll probably recall from my previous reviews of Declaration, they're currently in their Icarus iteration, which is comprised of bison tallow, lamb tallow, and goat's milk. Uh, this soap is on the uh, firmer side of the spectrum and is an extremely thirsty soap. I've seen chatter that the uh, artisan actually even recommends blooming the soap to uh, assist in dialing it, dialing it in. Um, I've played with it in both manners and find it, it definitely likes water and really likes a damp brush and uh, that's my method of choice for lathering it. When you do uh, properly dial this leather in, you're going to get something that resembles the consistency of sour cream. It's going to have a uh, high density to it, medium type volume, uh, nice sheen to it. Slickness is absolutely elite in terms of both primary slickness as well as residual slickness. Easily, I can move this blade with uh, no visible lather and uh, no fear of the razor dragging or skipping or cutting me. Post shave is also elite. Certainly knocking on the door with some of my uh, absolute favorite post shaves out there. So overall, this is a uh, really stellar soap base. Given my experience with Declaration Grooming Icarus, as well as the uh, metrics we just mentioned, it receives a shave score of 96. 96 puts it in a class with soap bases such as Ariane and Evans, as well as Holy Cow, the follow-up soap base. As you just witnessed, Excellent dome shave today with Declaration Grooming Snee Mato. Um, 
even though the scent's for, not for me, the uh, soap base absolutely is for me. I really enjoy using Declaration Grooming and Chris uh, when I have the opportunity to. Do hope you'll have an opportunity to uh, check out Scott's wares on his website or at any of the uh, third party resellers I mentioned previously. As always, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have anything to say. And if you're not already a subscriber, please become one. See ya.